Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to use this entity construction kit module. And this module is requested by one of our subscribers. So I decided to post it today. So this module, what does it do? Actually, it helps us to create your own custom entity from scratch. So what is the difference between this module and then a core node entity? So when you see the core node entity, when you create one content type in, in the node, you can see there will be a, some sort of base fields, right? State, status, um, pub, sorry, status and uh, title, created, updated, all we have, right? And we will be having a revisioning common field, all right? So when you use this, you can customize each field in your entity. So you, if you want title, you can give else you, you, you can skip the title field. Okay. So we can use this module to create your entity type from the scratch. Okay. So let's download this module and see how it is working. Okay. So for that first, what we have to do, we have to download the module and the module is composer require Drupal slash ECK. So the short form is ECK. It's Entity Construction Kit. It's used to construct your own entity. So that's why it's called as Entity Construction Kit, okay? Okay, it doesn't have any stable version. So let's run this command to get the beta version. So now the module is uh, downloaded successfully. Let's go to your website and enable this module. So here you need to type ECK. It's entity construction. I am enabling it. So now we enable the module successfully. So let's see the permission at the end. Before that, what we will do? we will create our own custom entity, okay? So on the structure, you will be having new menu called ECK entity type, okay? Here you have to declare your own entity type, okay? So I can create my own entity type, okay? Let's create entity type as uh, food, okay? So food. So I am going to enable all the fields. So if you want to disable some fields, you can disable. And here we have created new entity type. So in this entity type, I'm saying that I need title, created, changed, and the author, right? So it will be applicable for all the bundles, whatever insets, okay? Before that, I want to tell you what is entity, uh, entity type and bundle, okay? Let me explain this in content type. So we are saying content type, right? In this, content type is an entity type and article basic page is a bundle, okay? So as like here, food is an entity type, and here you can add n number of bundles, okay? So I am adding bundle as South Indian food, okay? I am from India, so I'm adding it. So first bundle. Now we successfully added one bundle. Let's add one more bundle here. And that is, uh, let's say continental. Continental fruits. Yeah. And next one is <clears throat> Chinese, okay? Chinese foods. Okay, now we added three types of foods under the food category. So food content, sorry, entity type. 
and uh, here we have three bundles one is chinese food continental food and south indian food okay so in in uh, content type when you compare this with content type entity type is a <coughs> content type their content type and here food food bundle and there uh, when you say article basic page here those are chinese continental south indian foods okay and that's it you can add one customized field here <coughs> I'm going to add description about that uh, food. So that is text. We have formatted description. Saving the field settings. And also the field setting here also. Okay. Now we created one field in this. Food bundle, okay. Food bundle of Chinese foods, okay. So next, if you want, you can create the same field in all the bundles. So I'm going to keep it only for the Chinese foods. <coughs> and next, now we created, right? Let's create a content under this. So here we have a food con uh, food entity type. I'm going to add the food for Chinese. So I'm going to add veg noodles, okay. So here you have a description, right? So you can give your own description here. So this portion. So here you have a description field, right? You can give description of uh, which noodles, and I'm going to save it. Okay, and next you can go to the same page and add content. And next, I'm going to select continental. So let's make pancake here. Pancakes. Saving. And one more content in the South Indian food. Okay. So here, I'm going to keep idli. Okay. Now we successfully created our uh, we see ECK entity type and also we created some set of bundles under this, okay? So this is how we need to configure, we need to use it, okay? And this supports trans, uh, translations and also uh, when you go to structure views, you can use this in the views also, okay? So let me tell you how to use it. Foods. I'm going to say food for all. all means Chinese corner something and all will come. So going to create a page and save it. So here we created the view with the entity type bundle. Okay. So next is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a filter criteria of that type. Okay. Which means uh, bundle. I think so. Okay, let's say type. Okay, food types. I'm going to see, click only the Chinese and apply. So you can see here only the veg noodles is coming, which we added in the Chinese bundle. Okay. So now we created a view with this entity type. Okay, this is how you can create your own uh, entity type by using this entity construction kit model. And now we will see how the permission is handled for this model, okay? So ECK. Here we have a set of entity construction kit. So first one is access the food listing page. So which means the list of foods. So that is pointing to here. So list of foods, what are you created? So whether the user should have access or not, you need to control it there and administer ECK entities and entity bundles. So, and entity bundle, entity type, okay? There are three, okay? This represents ECK entities means, this is called the ECK entity, okay? Whatever you are creating, it's like node slash one, node slash two, node slash three, okay? And ECK bundle means, it represents the continental Chinese 
and uh, south indian food okay and this entity type represents the food okay so if you want to give administer access to these you can give the permission and bypass will bypass all the access and uh, in node we will be having a status called published right if published anonymous can see if not published anonymous, anonymous cannot see the content that's how we even configure right so here all is all are handled by using the permissions okay so whether the user should have access to create a entity edit a entity or whatever okay so let's let me tell you by clicking one node in the private window okay so not node it's a food so it's access general right so for anonymous let's give a permission to see the food entities and i'm going to save it So going to refresh. So see here now he can be able to see the contents because he have access to view the entities under the full entity type. Okay, and that's it about the permission and module configuration. And that is how this is working. You can use it in your um, website. Okay, and next final thing is the configuration synchronization. So for that you have to go to the single item. So uh, what are the YMLs we will be having for this, okay? So first, we will be having one for the entity type, right? So if you create one more, there will be one more YML, okay? So the for that, I think there will be a uh, see here. So ECK entity type. So for here only we have the configuration of the entity type of food, okay? And next, once you created this, you will be having a bundle list, right? So we need a bundle. Next, when you see there is a, a new category called the entity bundle, but the bundle YMLs are not under this. So this, we no need to worry about it, okay? I'm not sure why this is coming extra here. And we have food type, right? Click it. And here, we will be having a bundles under this particular entity type, okay? So this bundle is uh, not needed. It is adding might be the issue from the module. So Chinese, it will be having a Chinese basic settings, okay? And next, next is what? We have some set of managed fields, right? So we created field only for the Chinese, right? So let's see. It's a field storage first. When the field is description, no? food dot field description right so this is the storage of that field and next you have to move the field so that is description with this uh, food dot chinese food dot field description okay and this is the field settings so this will not be available for a uh, continental and south indian okay and next one is manage form display so let's see the manage form display entity form display so here you have it only for the chinese because we didn't create any custom field to rearrange it in the user interface right we created only the description field for that chinese food alone right so that's why it, it is not displaying the south indian food and the continental okay it is displaying only the chinese food okay so here you can see the um, where you have created new field, only those will be available. Only those files enough to move from one environment to another environment. Okay. And next one is view. Even for view also, you have to select only the channels. Okay. And this is what the manage display mode. And this is what the configuration available in this uh, ECK module. Okay. And I think we covered all. Um, that's it about today's session. If you like the video, please share, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.